Hello everybody, this is Max Python and I'm playing some Rogue Legacy. So, right off starting here, I'm going to end up going with the Barbarian because, frankly, the other two weren't that good. Um, if you don't know what Rogue Legacy is, well, it's actually kind of hard to explain. Well, it's a game where you have to die a lot to progress so you can get money, so you get upgrades, so you don't die as much, so you can beat bosses. And here, this isn't going to be a series, I just felt like making a test video. I bought equipment upgrades so I could carry or heavier, carry heavier stuff, and I just go straight for the castle because I know there's nothing else I could have bought there, so, you know. So I happen to really like that game, that door, the lit up part meant I already beat a boss. So this room, not too challenging. I still end up getting hit because I'm not good at platforming. Um, zombie, not a tough enemy. So here, I realize I can run on these because I have P my character has PADs. So I can just run over these without getting impaled by spikes, which, you know, it's pretty nice. So this room, not that difficult I end up taking the guard box out with the downward strike because I find that to be more effective than anything else so not off to a bad start here um destroy everything for more gold drops um not too much happened in this room pretty uneventful so sorry about um the no game volume. I recorded this with EasyVid, which didn't record the game sound or my voice. So then I redid the recording with EasyVid again. Well, I redid my voice and put it over this, and that didn't work. So now I'm doing this with Audacity. So if this was originally working, you would be hearing a really, really epic song, which is in the game. It's probably one of my favorite tracks from video games. But nope. It didn't feel like working. So, if anyone has any suggestions about a better way to record, because this way is not that easy. Like, it's way too complicated. I have to be recording in Audacity. I'm editing it over in Movie Window Maker. So in this room, I see a boss, and like, I do not want any of that boss. Well, actually not a boss, it's a mini boss, but, it was just, you know, same thing. So, I'm not sure why I tried to kill the zombie that way. That was a really bad idea. Like, I could have just hit him, but instead I decided, oh no, I'm going to use my spell, which wasn't really that good of an idea. So that wizard hits me there, makes it so I fail to jump. Which, not fun, but hey, at least I was a barbarian and didn't take much damage. So, go through here. One of those rooms where they just have no enemies and lots of health drops. So here I break these statues, which I really don't think I should have because I didn't need the health drops, which is why I didn't break that there. So I see a room with jumping in it, and I decide I do not want to do any jumping in this game. So... Now I'm in the forest place, which is where the next boss I need to fight is. And I do not have much experience with many of these enemies, so... Yeah. Especially those tall guards who bounce me back, so... I decided, okay, that sword might somewhat work, but it doesn't do any damage. Well, okay, it does damage, but it hardly does any damage, so... You no, know, pretty annoying. So... And then again, I... I have another one of those where he can end up bouncing me back into the spike, so I do the same thing. I try to hit him with the sword, and that moving back and forth is me trying to get get him to go into the sword, which, so far, the best strategy I've come up for defeating them. If I end up recording more of this, um, give feel free to give me some tips about how to beat these enemies. That guy... I really shouldn't have got hit there, like, I could have done better, but this room, re I found pretty frustrating because I hate the wall turrets. 
which in case you don't know, those are the things firing the fire. So this enemy, I had no idea what to do. I did not know what to expect, but still did okay against it. So here I decide to use that to wall the enemy, and then I notice, oh, he ran through it. That's that's great. That's nice. So, um, yeah. Here I get hit quite a bit because I had to dodge something, but that ended up making me run into something else. I see this room. I'm like, I don't want any of that. Like, I really wanted to get that fairy chest, but that was not a good challenge for it. And I get hit by a spike ball here, which I could have dodged. So not that great of a run, but not a horrible run. So I decide, okay, well, I still have time on this recording, so I'll go to another hero. Now, I did not like any of these choices, but I decided the Hokage was the best of them. I don't like gigantic characters, otherwise I easily would have gone with the Barbarian, but... I go with the Hokage, who can run really fast and does lots of damage, but takes damage really easily, like, doesn't have much health. So here I just randomly draw on the video, just testing out my software. Um, not really sure why I did that, but this part of the game, I, I decided, well, this video is almost over, might as well mess with my software. Um, just see what I can do. Because this was my first time using it. This was just a test. Um, not sure why I'm jumping around a bit there. Um, here I try to see if there's something I can buy, which I can't. Um, then I try equipping the blood cape, which is too heavy. So. I just end up running, giving all this money to Karan, which. Well, yeah, I go back to my man. to the manor. Then I go to crawl and give him all the mo give him 90% of my money because I have haggle, which really helpful thing, but still doesn't seem like it's enough all the time. So go through there, wait for my new dungeon. I have ADHD, so I'm restoring mana, which. It's good. I see this room. As I said earlier, I do not like the jumping in this game, so... Yeah, I immediately go up. Um, I got hit there because my key was stuck. I know it sounds like I'm making an excuse, but that is what happened. But I managed to take out this room with not too much trouble, so... Get all my gold, destroy all the things. Um, I see a journal entry here, which... I might do a video of me reading all of them once I have them all, if that would be something that's interesting, I don't really think it would be, but I just skip through it for now. Um, here I just take the damage because I hate jumping in this game, it gets me frustrated, uh, it's just not a good time. So I go through this room, um, this room I end up using the... Uh, being able to hit through small walls to defeat all these enemies, which, kind of cheap, but sometimes you just need to use that sort of stuff. So here, I get hit by spikes a lot more than I should have, and I end up jumping over those spikes, making my health pack go away, and I die. And this is basically the end of the video, I mean, I go through the things trying to pause the game so I can stop the video here, which didn't happen, I get two Archmages here, I'm like, I don't want either of those, so I choose the Paladin, eventually, because I did not like any of these characters, not sure what Clumsy does, but here, and then, this is where the video stops, so I've been Max the Pie fan. see you next time, once I pause this.